everybody, Peg here with Stencil Girl Products for the month of March, and this is all about spring break and uh, poetry. So, I picked some stencils. Shell and I will be using the same stencils for our project, so play along with us and see what we make. Here we go. So what I have here is one of my large uh, Diane Reevely, I think, journals. Um, this measures 11 and a half by 8 pages, so it would be 16 across, just to give you some kind of reference. And I have out some water-soluble sprays because, um, yeah, <laughs> I've been in a water-soluble mood lately. and. So when you use these, you just want to um, shake them side to side to get the pigments to move. I've got a little bit of washi tape on here. Don't ask me why. It just, you know, I've been trying to use up some of these things in my stash. I'm working in a journal. Um, and this is one of the things that happens with washi tape is it does not want to stick down. So sometimes you have to just get a glue stick to make sure that that's going to stay in place in your journal. And you know you can you can use this on all of this tape if you want to, um, but keep a rag handy to wipe any excess glue off with. So I typically have some baby wipes handy to use while I'm working. And I'm just going to start with some of these sprays. Now, these are what I think of as more neutral to start with. The background on this is like a manila card, and that's rather neutral. So uh, let's start with that. This one is called Antique Linen. And this is a mustard seed. When I think about spring break, I think about bright sunny days, you know, time to take a break from the winter blues. So I'm going to put those down. I'm going to also take a distress, distress sprayer, spritz it with a little bit of water, and then I'm going to heat set. Okay, time for a new stencil and new product. So. This time I'm going to grab this art anthology in peacock feather and I'm just going to spray that on. Get a little bit of that going on down here. And some over on this side also, I believe. blank page behind, so I'm just going to lay that in there to clean it off. Okay, I'm just going to mask off, do a little bit of spraying with some uh, sprays from Art Anthology. Going to get some words in there. This is, uh, you know, where I'm thinking about poetry and that sort of thing. And using that uh, wet 
stencil to uh, stamp off and bring that color across the page. Then I'm going to add some of this uh, curb appeal paint from Deco Art and another stencil. <coughs> Pardon me. And um, just using a little uh, sponge applicator, and I'm going to start putting some of the um, darker elements on the page. You know, you need both the light and the dark when you're doing something like this. So now I'm going to go back to that uh, Carolyn Duby stencil, and it has both the mask and the stencil. So I'm going to take a pair of scissors and try to carefully cut out uh, those guts of the stencil so that I can use them on my page. I have a couple of different ideas about how I want to approach this. So uh, just be careful as you're clipping so that you're not clipping the wrong things, but they're just little tiny pieces of plastic that attach those inside of your stencil and it's kind of a two for one. So um, yeah, I'm really thankful that they do it that way. Now I want to do something that really uh, sets this image out off of the page. So I have this fluorescent pink paint and just a paper plate and I'm going to use that uh, mask to paint with. It's, it's now becoming kind of a stamp. So I'm going to test it out on some tissue paper first, see if it's going to work for me. And uh, yeah, I like the results. So then I decide to go directly to the page and I find I have a little bit of a surprise because the washi tape is resisting the paint in a few spots. So I'll just end up trimming out the tissue paper and gluing it down to the page because, you know, it's just another opportunity. So I will get my glue stick and that tissue paper and I will end up gluing that on top of the uh, stamped stencil image on the page. You can see here where I lift it and yep, there it is. Whoops. <laughs> Another opportunity. So, <clears throat> that's about it. I will do some bit of edging on the page and give you some final shots. And I hope you go shop over at Stencil Girl Products because they've got some really neat stuff. And also be sure and check out uh, Chelsea. She's my co-partner in this. And see what she made this month. Okay guys, bye for now.